start with that. You've, uh, you've had a number of guys that have played different positions, corner safety, safety star, so on. Is that more out of necessity that those guys need to be ready to play somewhere else, or are you really looking at where guys fit best for the future? Uh, that's a great question. I think it's both things. You know, we, from the get-go, um, uh, most of the places I've been at, you know, especially in, in, in the latter career here, uh, it gives you an opportunity, um, obviously, to train guys. You you want to you want to have guys that are athletic enough to play all the positions on the back end because you don't want to have any weaknesses. You don't want to be a guy that, hey, look, he can only play the strong safety. He can't he can't cover that well, you know. So um, so we've recruited that way. You know, we wanted guys that uh, can play all. You know, and when I say all of them, both corner positions, um, obviously the the star dime. In both safety positions, you know, so um, we've been doing that since we've been here. So they, there's been a handful of guys, you know, five to seven guys that we feel comfortable in moving around, training them. So since since you know spring ball, we've done that. So it allows us that when somebody uh, does go down, you know, it's not the guy that was backing them up. It's really the next best player, the next guy that's the most prepared to to get the opportunity, and that's happened to us now in the last couple of weeks. Vincent Patrick. Coach Kamal hadn't made his debut for you guys. What led to his playing time opportunity, and how do you assess how he did? Um, you know, it's just been working, uh, just uh, preparing. Um, you know, Kamal's no different than, than, than Brandon Turnage. You know, uh, Brandon um, has been working, uh, you know, talking about a couple weeks ago, and, and uh, Theo was down. He goes in there and, and obviously uh, has a great game and gets named SEC Defensive Player of the Week. And, and uh, but you know they, it, it, it's been a work in progress. They've been working at it. You know Kamal's the same way. You know had some setbacks with some injuries, um, which didn't allow him to get the reps that he needed, the quality reps in practice. Um, we had high hopes from the beginning. You know on, on both those guys and all of them really. You know and and uh, and like we always say, the next man mentality. And, and given the opportunity, um, he'd been working. And uh, did a nice job when he went in there, and uh, quality reps, you know, uh, which were very important, especially in this league. Coach, uh, at this point, midway, kind of midway through the season, what's maybe one thing that you, you like what your your secondary has done? Maybe what's one thing that you, you point to and say we got to get better on this the rest of the season? Um, you know, you know, for the most part, I think these guys have been playing really hard. They they have been playing physical. They've uh, the energy's been there. Um, they've continued to progress in the knowledge of our scheme. And, and uh, preparing, um, you know, I think they've done a really great job with that. You know, the thing that I think we could do always better is play smarter. You know, we, we got to be able to sustain it throughout the whole game, uh, making good decisions, solving problems as we go. You know, uh, you got to be able to do that in the back end. Um, how you practice it, you know, you're going to rely on your rules, you know, what's your assignment, you know, what's the base rules, but there's going to be some adjustments here based off of splits and situation. And uh, I think we could be a lot smarter, you know, um, you know, consistently throughout the game. Obviously, uh, Matt Corral made some plays with, the, with his legs, but you guys did a pretty good job balling him up in the passing game. Just what, what did you guys do well there in the in pass coverage to kind of limit I, that? I'm sorry, say that again. What you were saying? Uh, oh, sorry, Matt Corral had some good okay. plays in the running game, but just you guys seemed to limit him a little bit more in the passing game. What did you What did you guys do well to to kind of cause some problems for him in the passing game? I, I just. Uh, I just think we played really hard. I think as a unit we played really hard. I think we were physical, uh, you know, which, which, uh, you know, uh, we knew that he was a talented individual. He was going to make plays on his, you know, off schedule, so to speak, you know, with his feet, and uh, which he did. Um, but you know, limit limit the, uh, you know, the explosive plays. You know, would be the first thing. And obviously, with a great player like him and 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 the receivers that they have, um, you know, we didn't do it. You know, quite throughout the whole entire game, you know, obviously they made some plays and they're going to make plays, you know. Um, I said earlier to, to, you know, the question asked just, you know, about a few seconds ago, you know, is we just got to play smarter. You know, a guy like that who's a really good player and, and we're going to be facing Bryce Young again, another great player at quarterback, you know. Anytime the guy that's got the ball in his hand on every snap is a really good, like these guys, you know, that's, you got to be really, you got to be on top of your game, you know, from a standpoint of understanding the situation. Um, and, and then obviously making good decisions, you know, based off our scheme. And then also just what's the next step for Brandon Turnage? You know, obviously showed some, some good things. Yeah. But what does he need to do now to, to you know, get more here's, points? Here's the thing, you know, it's, it's, uh, he's continuing to grow and, and learn in our, in our system and, uh, and get better each day. He's got a great attitude. Um, 
you know, he's he understands that the guy he just replaced in one of the games is has been playing the best in the back end, you know, in Theo. And uh, but we can also move him around. You know, again, he's been trained at corner. Um, you know, so he'll play some there. He'll play some at star. You know, he'll play some at dime. Um, you know, as to continue to play him. You know, and uh, um, he's earned that. You know, so. Willie, you mentioned Turnage, and I wanted to ask you about his performance. A lot was said about Theo Jackson helping him, watching mm -hmm. tape with him, and, and working him through all this. And I wonder how much of that is just a compliment to Theo Jackson, or a compliment to the culture that's here, or both. I think it's I think it's both. You know, it starts obviously with with Coach Hype and uh, and what he's brought here, and, and uh, you know, as a staff, and and we've been saying it from day one. You know, is holding you know holding ourselves accountable and. And, but also at the same time, too, taking ownership of, you know, each other. Take your own, you know, take your, take what you're supposed to be, you know, knowing, I mean, let me reflect. Be accountable for everything you do. That includes myself and them. And they've done that since we've been here. Um, Theo is obviously a great leader, uh, someone who has a tremendous amount of experience since he's been here. Um, he's been the most consistent player since day one, okay, since we've gotten here. Obviously, I, I've known him prior to him. Uh, uh, prior uh, my last time that I was here, you know, so I, I had some kind of uh, inside information on him as far as what kind of player he was, what kind of person he was. Uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, it, within it, you know, we put, uh, we tell the guys that, uh, you know, if you're not in, you should be coaching. You know, that's how we do it every day in the reps and uh, um, in the practice field. If you're the, if you're on the second group, you're watching what the first group is doing, and. Um, and you know, and then make sure that everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing. And Theo knew he wasn't going to play. Um, you know, obviously he took it upon himself, just like he does every day in practice. Even when he's playing, he's coaching. And uh, and obviously that's that's the kind of culture that we want. And uh, and I and I can see a lot of it because it's just spreading. It's spreading with, among the group and our and our and a defensive back group. But you can see it on the team too. And the communication is a lot better than it was day one. Um, as it should be, and uh, but I think that I think everybody's pulling for each other. You know, they're playing for each other. That's really what you want, and uh, and it was great to see that because uh, you know, like I said, Brandon was embraced it, and uh, and he's doing the reverse order too. You know, I mean, if if he's not in there, he's doing the same thing too. Well, a lot of times when we're trying to kind of gauge how a corner's playing. Uh, it's easy to see if a guy's gotten beat in man coverage or it's easy to see if he's intercepted a pass. Overall, how would you say Alante and Warmbrell are playing? How are they Are they executing? How, how are they doing their jobs out there? Yeah, you know, that's a great question, too. Again, everybody everybody can see when someone makes a mistake, especially when, when you're dealing with space. And, uh, I, I, you know, they've been playing well. They've been playing solid. Have they played perfect? No. Have they made mistakes? Absolutely, you know, uh, but uh, you know, and you keep on, you correct them, and you move forward, and uh, you know, they've made a lot of good plays too. You know, plays that you don't see, whether that's leveraging the football and someone else is making a play, um, the 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 sack that we got for the safety. You know, that was the perimeter. That was guys back there in good coverage. Um, there was really good uh, eye discipline on the play. You know, and and, and Corral didn't see it, so he, he knew it wasn't there. He tries to pull back up, tries to make another play, and the ball's out. You know what I mean? Or, or obviously we got a safety at that time because it was called a penalty. So there's a lot of things that you don't see that don't you know because it's not a stat. Um, so uh, we can be better. You know, uh, as a group. Um, you know, and like and and we say it all the time as coaches, you're not going to play a perfect game. You know. If you had to do the game all over again, it, the, obviously the result would be different. You know, uh, if you said, you know, hey, we all like that next play. You know, let's repeat that play. You know, you're always good on the second time around. You got to do it the first time. So you got to prepare, and uh, just show more, more consistency. You know, from the whole group. And uh, but they've had some great plays too. You know. Last two questions, Two quick things. It seems like Bryce Young, when he scrambles, he looks to try to keep the play alive and throw versus a corral who wants to run. When you look at him on tape, is that what you see? Yeah, that's that's that's, that's accurate. But he's also good with his feet. You know, that's he, he makes really good decisions, just like you know uh, Matt. Uh, but uh, he he knows he's got great players around him. He he knows what to do with the ball. Um, obviously, he is. Uh, and and he, I'm not going to say that he's looking to run every single time. He, he's, you know, that it's not there, you know. But uh, 
uh, he does a good job of, of throwing the ball away and, and doesn't take a sack, and, and, uh, and he makes good decisions to, to run with it when he has to to get the first down or, or keep the, move, you know, the chains moving. And then what else stands out about Alabama's offense? Uh, they're just consistent, uh, efficient. Um, uh, I mean, obviously they've been doing that for a long time, you know, and uh, the consistency and in, in, in being able to sustain it. Um, is a credit to them, and uh, obviously we um, we're looking forward to the challenge. And um, uh, it's a very talented football team. Well, we, we've heard players talk about how sometimes the system is more simplified, so they don't make mistakes. But with the offenses being as complex as they are, is it difficult to be simple on defense to counter some of the things you're seeing on offense? Yeah, correct. And, I, and again, but if you start if you start with you got to have enough. You know, we have enough defense to keep it. Okay, where you're, you're changing up stuff, you know. I mean, uh, that word simple, it's just really a, a matter of communication. Make sure that it's tight, it's precise, um, you know, with our adjustments. And, uh, but be, be multiple, too, from the same looks that, uh, um, that you're, you're presenting, you know what I mean? So uh, I don't think the game is simple at all, uh, even if you had a couple of calls, you know. You still have to get lined up. Um, you know, know your assignment, play really hard, and you got to get up and snap and clear and play it again the next play. And offenses are, are so uh, so good now. Obviously, just the, the tempo, um, the, all the teams that have different, uh, um, you know, different styles of how to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, it is what it is. The rules are what they are. And uh, you just we just got to continue to play the tempo that we're playing on defense, meaning we're playing hard, we're playing physical, okay? Um, and But we just got to be able to play smarter, you know, uh, throughout the game. And uh, um, But I think that uh, it allows the guys to, to uh, you know, let loose and uh, be confident when they do make those corrections, you know, from game to game. And, and uh, we've done that a couple times here. We had, to, we had it going for a string here. Uh, not that we played a, ball, a bad ball game this last game, you know what I mean? But, again, um, we just like to, you know, finish the game, uh, start it and finish it, you know, you know, like the, like the previous two games we had. Thank you, Coach.